Good day everyone and welcome to Exile News, the weekly show that brings you all the important news and informations on Path of Exile. And the first news we got this week are a couple improvements to some NPC models. So not all the NPC models are probably going to be reworked, however you can see here Nessa from Act 1 definitely looks a lot better and they had to do Nessa since it looks like she's going to play a major role into the next expansion. The second NPC we're gonna take a look at is Starkley. Uh, to be honest, I never really took a good look on him, uh, like Nessa, but still, uh, you can see he's really, really improved. Unlike the poor fella down here, or the guys down here, which looks just like the same, and although with a different lighting on that. You can see shadows over here, which were not, or actually were present here, so shadows are in a different position, maybe the lights have been switched around, we'll see about that when we actually get to try the game. Also, we got more, or the second part, on the damage over time changes that are going to go live with uh, the beta, which should be coming soon actually, even though we still haven't got any news about that. But anyway, Poison and Bleed are now considered ailments, while Freeze, Shock, Ignite and Chill are considered elemental ailments, so that's going to be a difference right there, and there's going to be a difference in a lot of uh, wording around skills and the passive tree. And your critical damage multiplier will not affect uh, ailments like poison, bleeding and ignite. There's, there is however going to be a property called damage multiplier for ailments on critical strike. So they're going to divide the normal critical multi for from the multi for ailments which is going to be uh, kind of weird. There's also going to be a new keystone. Uh, letting a large portion of your hit modifier apply to the critical multiplier strike. So there's going to be uh, quite some changes in that regard as well. And uh, yeah, GG basically feels like since critical has always been uh, the best way to scale your damage or the strongest way to scale your damage for pretty much all of the skills, maybe not all of those, but for the most part, uh, they feel like you have to invest a lot into crit to actually be good and also they don't want normal hits to be left out in the dust as it usually happens so this change uh, we'll have to see how it goes uh, I'm sure people will test it out and it will be balanced during the beta as far as all of the immunities that many bosses had like Aziri cannot be uh, basically cannot be ignited chilled or shocked uh, there's like Phoenix is immune to Ignite and all the kind of stuff. Uh, and GGG plans to remove the majority of the immunity so that they don't punish ailment focus build too much. Of course they still have um, resistances and such, but most of the bosses will now not be immune. So that's actually pretty good. Weapon elemental damage will be, will be changed as well and uh, the elemental damage with weapons will become elemental damage with attack skills meaning that it will now also modify all the damage dealt by the attack skills and it will also apply to unarmed attacks. I feel like this is going to be absolutely crazy. Uh, yeah, GG already said they will be monitoring really closely all of the unarmed face breakers for example or even Doriani's cut or Doriani's fists builds because I feel like this is going to be extremely strong. There's also going to be new item mods. Uh, in this case uh, we're going to have increased poison damage, uh, local chance to poison, increased bleeding damage which I feel like is going to be very popular this league, uh, local chance to cause bleeding, incre increased ignite damage chance to ignite, freeze and shock. Hopefully these chances here, the chance to shock hopefully for example might will actually be useful. Right now it feels like you either crit and apply shock or you just are better critting and killing the enemy straight up. Like chance, chancing a shock doesn't feel very useful. Well to me at least unless of course you're using a vessels of winter which is broken as fuck and should be removed but that's just my opinion anyway. And also there's going to be uh, new prefixes for weapons, uh, increased fire damage, increased cold damage and increased lightning damage, which uh, cannot happen at the same time as uh, dedicated spell damage bonuses. So these are probably going to be uh, slightly stronger than spell damage because they are specific and as usual 
as how it happens for example with jewels when you have a specific mod for something it's generally stronger than a uh, general mod and lastly there's going to be changes to the projectile damage and area damage when compared with the damage over time so projectile damage uh, is never going to affect a skill like uh, um, essence drain or caustic arrow because uh, it's not going to scale the damage over time anymore unless in the case of caustic arrow uh, the skill itself will have a new modifier allowing for projectile damage to modify uh, the DOT so that's how it's going to happen also uh, area damage will only be considered for those skills that deal damage in an area but it's fixed in that area so for example if you have the cloud from caustic arrow if you move out of the cloud you're not taking damage anymore so that means it's area damage and will modify the damage over time however if you uh, were put under contagion and you leave the area of contagion you're still taking damage so that's not area damage and that's how it's going to be so we'll see how that works out hopefully it works really well uh, it's definitely a lot of things to take in in one take so uh, just just take your time really slowly uh, if you have a specific build try to understand how that works and uh, there's also going to be more of these questions we got we got a lot of answers to the many questions that players add to the damage over time changes and ggg started answering there's going to be multiple of these uh, news posts answering various specific questions for uh, damage over times i mean if you're playing with minions you can find yours if you're playing with a specific skill you will find yours as well so if you're interested in all of the details uh, be sure to check those out if you have a specific question that has not been answered or asked yet you can definitely go down this topic and post yours of course you'll find the link in the description below and lastly we got a preview of some of the 3.0 environments you can see this is this looks like the radiant pool which is going to new to be the new fated pool uh, this is the ledge gonna be honest it feels very much as usual just the new water which doesn't really uh, make much difference on the ledge since you can't really see it uh, something like arachnid tomb this is the sewers again there's it's just a mini video so you can check it out uh, it's definitely really good and it's really nice that when GGG kind of remakes these little things because it gives that feeling of freshness even for older players which have been around for a long time and are going to like this definitely going to like this you can see the ship I wonder if we are actually going to board the ship or if it's just going to be some uh, decoration outside Maybe we are actually going to have it into our hideouts, that would be pretty cool. But anyway, that was all for this week. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment down below. Also, if you want to remain updated every week, be sure to subscribe to my channel. So that was all, I've been your host Orzo, and I'll see you guys the next time.